sang the extra dogs' names on the video, they actually helped pledge to uh, be in the Kickstarter campaign by putting their dog in the video. Well, we have another category today only for the Kickstarter campaign, and uh, we're going to come up with that in a minute, but I need to say a few thank yous first to those Kickstarter people. Thank you so much, and all of you out there. Please give them a round of applause. And we have some other folks uh, throughout uh, Canucopi that have just been really, really good to us that have helped uh, on the same campaign. Uh, not the least of which is the Wabakini Project. If you're familiar with the Wabakini Project, they are uh, just an amazing group of people. I have canoed and paddled with them, and they, they are involved in clearing up the, uh, all the trails of the Wabakini uh, Provincial Park. It's, it's a great experience. Please go by their booth, look and see what they have to say. Please tell them thank you for bringing us here. We really do appreciate that. Um, also, Ostrom Outdoors. All those great uh, packs and uh, bear barrels that are made over there. We used, actually used a barrel on the, uh, on the expo floor today. Tim turned it into a drum. It was great. It was fun. <laughs> and so please say thank you to Ostrom Outdoors and MTI Adventurewear, uh, makers of those PFDs that you all hope, hopefully are wearing all the time when you're out on the water. Um, they were very, very helpful. And uh, then we step up a notch and we go to, where are you, Scott? Come on, there he's hiding in the sun. Old Scout Outdoor Products, if you don't have a bungee dealy, Bob, you do need to get one because he needs to pay for the sponsorship. Scott Ray Man, Old Scout Outdoor Products, thank you. And finally, last but not least, of course, Rutabaga has come forward and, and been very, very helpful both financially and, and on many, many levels on bringing us here. So please go to the customer service desk, tell them, unless of course you think we suck, don't go there, but uh, go to the customer service desk and tell them that, uh, that, that, that you really appreciate us coming. It, it's no small task to bring these very talented musicians up here and get them rehearsed and get them up here in, in a van. Poor guys. That, of course, John decided to fly up in his gloves diapers, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 we really do appreciate you doing that and then, uh, keeping, keeping the, the good stuff going. So, the other Kickstarter people, I am amazed that we even had anybody decide to do this, but we did. They have agreed to play cowbell on this next song. <laughs> and they have agreed to play cowbell with none other, if you will welcome him to the stage now, Ontario's happy camper, Kevin Callum. <laughs> Zip it up. I thought he was going to pull his udder there. Kevin, you're going to be in the middle stage. Now, what you don't know. <laughs> and he's not even. Yeah, he is from Wisconsin. That makes sense. What you don't know is that Kevin, when he was in college, played drums. Is that right? So he's got the percussion. So we have to bring up some helpers now, and the first person to pledge for playing cowbell with Kevin Callen has a degree in music, so she knows what she's doing. My friend, please welcome Linda Childs up to the... Where are you? Where are you, Leslie? Oh, she's right over here. Leslie? Not only wants to play cowbell, Leslie was actually uh, the star of this song in the video. If you go, come on up. She's too nervous to be introduced. She was the star of the song in the video, and uh, uh, the song is called Too Tired to Start a Fire. And if you go on the internet and put on YouTube, look for Too Tired to Start a Fire, you're going to see Leslie leaning back, holding herself a Cracker Jack box, and having a good old time out in the Boundary Waters there. Leslie Kloppenstein. And finally, my paddling bag. Somebody came forth and took it. Where is it? I am over here. Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding. My buddy Phil is, was also a music teacher. And believe it or not, Paul Schaefer was his student. Woo! <laughs> I'm here the Wapakini Project, Phil Cotton. So, we have a cowbell for each and every one of you. There you go. It's signed by the band, by the way. Okay, so we have, uh, we gotta get some drums.
drumsticks to all of you. So we have, let's see, we have a drumstick for Phil. And we have a drumstick for Linda. And a drumstick for Leslie. And we have a drumstick for Kevin. <laughs> Say the drumstick was purchased two days ago. Yeah, I probably wouldn't eat it if I ran it. Don't eat it. <laughs> so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play that here. This one. He says, do, do you want us on the upbeat? Let's try it. Let's try it. I would not, I would not try to, to, to tell this group what to do for one second. Now, what I need is, they obviously are a little bit inhibited in the spirit. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Saturday Night Live routine, More Kelly? Yeah. Okay, okay. If you're not, you're gonna be familiar with it very soon. All right, so what I'm hoping they will do, and I'm probably hoping against hope, is that they will play this song, they will play cowbell during the chorus of the song. Too tired to start a fire, okay? Oh no, the whole thing. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, I suppose. <laughs> but, <laughs> But, well, that is, where did you get that, though? <laughs> oh, my God. Here's some Americans gave it to me. Go on. <laughs> here. So, but they're going to need some coaching from you. And when we get to the chorus, if it's not, if, if they're really kind of skeptical and sketchy about this, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to say, what does this song need? And you know how you're going to respond? More that, that's a little subdued. What does this song need?
rise to the occasion. They need